Hey, what's up everybody? DJ LeFave here with a quick, quick lesson. If you have an old controller, any DJ controller, and you want to control stems from that controller, then this tutorial is for you. Check it out. I'm going to show you a really quick example over here with my Newmark DJ to go to, one of the most inexpensive controllers on the market, how we can control stems. Then I'm going to show you how it's done. All right, check this out. Now the ghosts are flooding. Vocals only. Trying to drown me in my former sin. Instrumental. Bring them all together. Ha <laughs> All right, check it out. That is that is super super easy to do, and I'm gonna basically show you how you can do this on basically any single controller that is out there. So first off, I gotta give credit where credit's due. Uh, my boy Markel, he said, any tips and tricks you have specifically for the new Mark Party Mix 2, it would be appreciated. Thanks for the content. Thank you for the question, Markel. Of course, anybody who asked a question on my channel, if I can do something for you, I'm going to. Now, I don't have a new Mark Party Mix 2, but what I did have was this uh, DJ to go to. Happens to be my new Mark. But if you could do it on this controller, you can literally do it on any controller that's out there. And I didn't want it to be clickbait. No, no, no. I want to show you. This is the Virtual DJ webpage with the hardware. I'm linking it down below in the description here so you could see all the hardware that is essentially natively supported with Virtual DJ. We got to go through this quickly because there's just look, 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 look. All of these controllers right here. All of these controllers. And they all have documentation, official pages. So go go check and see if your controller is on here. Because they, they've got some they got some relics. They got some new stuff. They got lots of old stuff. And it's right there. So again, I just pulled up the uh, what is the new Mark DJ to go to. This is what the controller looks like. Literally, you've got four pad buttons. You've got four different pages. You can do crossfader and, and simple pitch control. But you can do it on this. You could do it on anything, okay? And uh, so for our lesson later, if you guys have never heard this before, it's VDJ Verbs. This is what we use for mapping. So basically, you could tell your controller what to do, anything. Anything that Virtual DJ can do, guess what? Your controller controls Virtual DJ. That's right. That's all it does. It controls the DJ software. Mind blown, right? Mind blown. All right, let's hop right into the how do I execute this, LaFave? How do I do this? All right. So in the top right, I'm on the pro skin again. We're, we're going back to the pro skin just because, you know, I know I showed you guys Vance at GT. Vance at GT, nice skin. But I want to keep this simple. I want to make sure everybody is going off of the same page here, same page. So what I want you to do is go into the settings right over here. Now the settings, you click the settings, and then this box pops up. It's already on my DJ to go to, but if it's not, you could select your controller here and show all compatible controls. Now, this is the super easy part. Click in this area here, right here where it says action. Click in that area, then select a button on your controller. I'm going to select right here. I'm going pad mode till I get to the pad page four, and I'm going to hit number three. So when I hit number three, <laughs> boom, it's currently set up for sampler mode. You go up to this area right here and it says sampler mode pad three. So what it's doing is when you push that button right now, it is it is playing pad three. That, that is what it is doing. What we want to do is we want to tell it to do something else when we push that button. So for this one, we're just going to do stem and then single quotation. We're going to say acapella. And then single quotation. I'm going to put this in the description below so you can just copy and paste it, all right? So that is what we're doing for that pad. And when you're done, click on save. And then we're going to go to the fourth one, which might be something different. All right. All right. Little interlude. Little interlude. I like it. Pump it up. Leave a comment if you guys are enjoying this. Like, subscribe, and get ready for some more. All right, all right, all right, we got it, we got it. enough, enough, you're too much, you're too much, VDJ. Okay, so now we're on sampler pad four, and right now it says pad four. So we just hit one of my samplers right there. But now I'm going to tell it to do something different. I'm going to tell it to do stem, and then I'm going to do single quote, and we're going to say instrumental right there. And then we click save. So now when I hit three, right, goes uh, number three has been saved as acapella. And kind of what I did earlier was I did one as acapella. Oh, stem pad, excuse me. It's stem pad, stem underscore pad. Let's, let's make sure we get that right. So we, yeah, we want stem pad for pad three. So stem underscore pad. And then for number four, this is why we check. This is why we check things. It's stem. Got to get those quotes right. Got to get them right. Stem 
underscore pad. This is basically the, the new thing that they built in in Stems 2.0 is they gave you a single pad button that does acapella, basically removes everything else, or instrumental and removes all of the vocals. So now we have three and four set as that. We click on save. Now we're going to close it. So now we'll bring it back into the audio right here. And I'm going to hit play and we're going to hit three for acapella. And now the ghosts are flooding in. Okay. Now we're going to bring it into instrumental only. That's number four. And if I tap four again, it should bring everything back. So that, that's it. That, that's really the simplistic mapping. Now, th there is a, a very much more advanced technique that... Um, you could configure your LEDs to light back up. That That is a more advanced tutorial. I wanted just to get this out there to you guys right now really quickly. And gals, I, there, there are female. If you're female and you're watching this, yo, say hello in the chat. We don't get many of the channel, but, you know, we're trying to bump, bump up those demographics. So right there, this is, uh, that's how you do it. That is how. Make sure you just take those two commands. Forget my little flub. Forget my little flub. Stem underscore pad, single quotes, acapella or instrumental. And if you guys are dying to learn how to get your LEDs to talk back to you, then um, just let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll get into that other video. There's a little bit of coding involved with that. It gets a little crazier. But for what we just did, you could actually make on this, this, this controller right here, I can make the Q headphones on Q left and Q right. I can make that instrumental and one of them vocal. I, you, you could do anything for any of these buttons. Th that is what makes Virtual DJ so great. And again, on this screen where, where it was showing all of the hardware, you'll notice there is no, like, let's say, Tractor S4 Mark III, the, the Control S4. That's not on here. But somebody's actually already made mappings for it. So even if it's not listed and supported natively, you could still conceivably map all of these different features inside of Virtual DJ. DJ, I'm so excited. I'm just, I'm, I'm tumbling my words because Virtual DJ will do so much for so many different pieces of hardware. It's almost hardware agnostic. That's why I love this channel because I get to teach you all of these neat little nuances and tricks inside the software. Everything I'm doing is all going to be mostly software based, but because of Markel, we wanted to make sure we got some new Mark in there for him. I hope he's happy for it. And uh, obviously you made it this part in the video. It's my little secret sauce for all of you. Uh, if you're happy with it, hit the caps lock, scream and shout at me in the comments. Let me know how much you love this video and what else you want to see more. And if you hated it, put the caps lock on, scream and shout at me and tell me how I flubbed up that stem pad code. And you guys are all just totally messed up because you didn't wait that 15 more seconds for us to check it out all right that's it i'm dj lafave make sure you guys stick around i do some live streams on here we always have a good time taking your questions and going through stuff on the spot hope you guys have a great evening if you got any more questions comments concerns post them in the comments lafave out